Hello and welcome to the Analysis Mason podcast. My name is Tom Robeck and I'm here with Bob Takax. Today we're going to talk about a recent survey of small and medium-sized businesses. We've written a number of reports based on the, uh, the survey that we've done. They're all available on our website and in the show notes we will attach a link to those various reports. Um, but first of all, Bob, let's just start talking uh, about the survey itself. So just give us the, the basic outline of what we did in the survey. Yeah, sure, Tom, and thank you. Uh, what, what we did is we surveyed 1,149 SMBs uh, across four countries, uh, Germany, Singapore, uh, UK, and the, and the US. And that was over the December to, to uh, January timeframe. And what we really wanted to do is get a get an understanding of uh, – their 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 outlook uh you know how have they adapted to the changing environment uh, post pandemic uh how did they uh how are they using it uh, how are their priorities have changed over the last uh, 12 to 18 months and then we asked a lot of questions about future use so what are the, what are their key business challenges what are their key uh, it uh, priorities and where are they going to be making investments Okay, thanks. And maybe a key point with the survey is that this isn't the first time we've done it. This is what the third we've done since the beginning of the pandemic. So we can, we're able to, to track the changes through the pandemic, aren't we? Yeah, that's right, Tom. And, and what we've seen is, uh, of course, this year we saw a lot of change, uh, which is re- reflected in the, uh, in the results. And, and uh, you could see that in the report. Uh, you know, there's, there's a lot more optimism and that, that there's certainly... Uh, that that was really the big big takeaway, and as 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 we're saying, the 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 big narrative is uh, the SMBs are are getting back to business, and and they're they're getting through the pandemic, and they're focusing on uh, uh, expanding and and doing things that they did uh, pre-pandemic. Yeah, so so let's focus on that to start with. We'll talk about the IT issues in in a minute, but what were the key business issues facing SMBs? I think the issues are really, you know, how they could continue to support, you know, the work from home environment. And, mm-hmm. and we see that that trend is is going to continue. Uh, our study suggests that 40 percent of, of SMBs are going to continue to have some kind of work from home, uh, you know, uh, set up. So it's it's about really managing that work from home uh, 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 environment. And that that we see is certainly a, a priority from a from an IT perspective, from a from a business perspective, it's it's really about uh, uh, you know get, attracting and and retaining uh, employees and and focusing on uh, employee satisfaction and engagement. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the people issues were kind of the two big uh, uh, business priorities. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I think like you mentioned before, what came out very much stronger this time around is about the general optimism what is it 80 90 percent of uh, smbs uh, optimistic about the future they're expecting to grow they're expecting to expand um and that looks quite different i think from when we did the survey a year year and a half ago yeah yeah absolutely and we saw that you know to that point tom we saw a big increase in revenues and it, it mm-hmm. kind of flipped around so we saw about 60 percent of uh smbs have saw an increase in their in their revenues, uh, which is again flipped over from from last year, and that increase in revenue is certainly driving their expansion plans and certainly uh, supporting a lot more uh, spending on on IT solutions. So we see that spending up about about three quarters of SMBs are suge- are saying that they're going to increase their their spending on on IT solutions uh, yeah. over the next twelve months or so. Yeah. So I guess with with all of that growth comes the, the growing pains, and that, that that seems to be also a focus. Um, to things like worker shortages and how they can attract workers, keep them happy, and so on. Uh, a, a big issues, bigger issues than they obviously were eighteen months ago. Yeah. Um, maybe let's yeah. turn then to specifically to to the IT services and and how these broader business issues are affecting spend on IT services. Yeah, I, I think that, you know, what I mentioned is that basically, you know, over 70% are, are going to increase their budgets over the next uh, 12 months. And what we see is a lot, on, uh, a lot of the spending going on cloud-based solutions. Mm-hmm. So we see that about 45% uh, of SMBs are going to increase their spending on, on SaaS uh, applications. We see, uh, you know, almost 50% are going to increase uh, 
uh, they're spending on, on, on cloud networking and infrastructure solutions. Uh, we see also what was big last year is, is still going to be uh, significant, and that's spending on cybersecurity. So that's, uh, that's going to continue to be a, a, a priority. And then, um, you know, what we, what we touched on earlier about the support for remote uh, workers, mm -hmm. so this whole managed IT uh, services, about 45% uh, of SMBs are going to increase their, their spending on, on managed services. So that kind of, you know, gives a, gives us a sense, big, big spending on, on uh, cloud and, and, and significant spending on, on managed services. Yeah, I mean, uh, it, it feels the overall trend in spend that there's clearly a, a lot of these SMBs are expecting to increase their spend on IT services. And I guess that there are sort of two things pushing that. One is that their general optimism, like we talked about before, in terms of growth and, uh, and a stronger economy than we saw in 2021 and 2020. So that's mm -hmm. helping pushing increase IT spend. Um, but also, uh, it seems like SMBs are, are, are shifting the way they work. So things like spend on travel um, and some other sorts of marketing, that's that's declining and the budget that they would have spent on travel are being spent on IT services. So you've got the kind of twin yep. things pushing IT spend along. Yeah, um, that's, a, that's, that's a good point. And we did see that, you know, we did ask the question about, you know, how are you reallocating your, your budgets? And we did see that, you know, the travel budget uh, is, is a big component uh, um, uh, that, that's that's being reallocated to, to fuel a lot of this IT spend. Uh, so so that's that's right. So companies are are reallocating. They're not traveling as much, so they're taking those dollars and investing it in IT. And and again, to do the kinds of things that they did, you know, pre-pandemic. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the other issue that you mentioned about remote working that seems to be driving a lot of this other spend. Um, so clearly the need, uh, and we'll see exactly where the balance is, but, but clearly working is, is going to be changed longer term, more people working from, working from home or working from yeah. anywhere. Um, and that's pushing, certainly pushing spend on things like cloud, on, on SaaS services, but also on security because it's not everybody's sitting in an office behind a firewall. People are working from different places and there's different sorts of security threats. And that's sure. pushing spend on, 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 uh, on, on security. Um, and also, uh, overall, the, the solution seems to be more complicated, uh, and so it's much harder for businesses themselves to, to manage these different services, and so they need help. Well, yeah, yeah no, ab absolutely, yeah. No, what, what you said is, is, is true, and especially on the cybersecurity front, you know, we saw a lot of spend, you know, last year, and that's going to continue just for, just for, for what, what, what you suggested, you know, work from home isn't going to go away. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, it's about 40% of those SMBs are going to continue to have some work from home environment. And that's going to, you know, require them to, uh, to face some of these challenges. And, and that'll create opportunities for, for vendors uh, yeah. To, to, yeah. to support them. So, so let's pick up on that point in the, the last question. So, so what do all of these changes mean for, for vendors, for, for service providers? Um, what are we expecting there? Yeah, and I think, Tom, you know, what you, what you mentioned before about, you know, some of the solutions and, and what, what the type of help that these SMBs are looking for. And that's really played out in the channel landscape. We saw, you know, a, 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 you know, a lot of switching uh, mm. going on right now. So, so about... Um, you know, 32% of uh, uh, SBs have switched their channel partner. Higher on the MB side, about 45% uh, have switched their channel partners. And basically, what they're looking for is our partners who could provide a, a more of a business uh, uh, type of solution. So I think it's important to note for for vendors and channel partners that when you're you know messaging to to SMBs, it's important to to really show the benefits of, of a business solution rather than just a, a pure IT solution. That, that's what they're looking for. Um, yep. So uh, they're, they're going to be increasing their reliance on channel partners and they're looking for those types of, uh, uh, those types of insights. Again, looking for how they could uh, help the work from home employees, yep. Uh, yep. looking for those cyber, to help on cybersecurity issues. So those two are really going to be important. Yeah, again, all of this kind of relating back to the themes that we talked about earlier in terms of the, the, the broader business mm. issues facing these SMBs. Mm. Um, the other thing I thought that came out very clearly in the survey, which was interesting, is just how much these um, these small businesses have turned to managed service providers to support them through the pandemic. 
we saw a big uptick, particularly the larger firms, a, a big uptick in, in, in the use of money services. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that, and that, that trend line is going to continue, you know, yeah. over the, la- the next, you know, 12 to 18 months. So, you know, when, we, when we're looking at it from, from the channel landscape that we track, you know, uh, the, the M- MSP channel is one of the highest, highest growing and will continue to be over the next, like I said, uh, 12 to 18 months. Okay, excellent. Great. Thank you for that, Bob. Very interesting. Um, as I said at the beginning, um, we've written a number of reports based on this survey. So the, the links will be in the show notes. Please download those reports, have a read through. If you have any questions, uh, very happy to hear from you. Um, also, if you'd like to automatically receive future episodes, please subscribe to the Analysis Mason podcast. Um, we also welcome your comments, feedback and reviews for the podcast. Thank you for listening.